Welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is cold. It's about 18 degrees right now. It's been cold for the last couple days. We were going to uh, start working on the plumbing tomorrow morning. I had a plumber coming, but I actually canceled a little bit ago. Everything's hard as a rock, frozen solid. So we're going to wait till next weekend. But inside this box here is something that should hold about three full cords of firewood, believe it or not. No, four full cords of firewood. As you know, I love using the uh, IBC totes, but I have been intrigued by these firewood bags for quite some time. So today, we're gonna try these things out. The first thing we're gonna do just put these on the forks. Then we're gonna take them down to the wood pile and uh, we're gonna see how much one of these hold. I believe they hold close to a third of a cord. But anyway, here's a good look at these bags. They're kind of mesh on this side. They seem pretty heavy duty. We'll see how they do with this hardwood here. I mean, this stuff's heavy. This is uh, red oak right here. I'm gonna open it up. Now normally, I wouldn't load it like this. What I was looking for is something that I can put at the end of the conveyor. And uh, that's what I'm gonna use these bags for. But right now, I just want to test it out. What I'll be doing is just throwing this red oak in there, uh, just randomly. I just want to toss it in and see if we can fit a third of a cord in one of these bags. I'm not sure if we'll fit a full third of a cord, but we'll find out here in just a bit. Now, as you guys know, I've been using these IBC totes. And uh, by the way, this wood down here right now, this is all for next year. There's a nice basket full of cherry right there. But these work fantastic, they really do. I cut a section of them out so you can stack the wood in there. Uh, these aren't the best though for just uh, putting at the end of the conveyor. You know, wood will fall through these holes. Plus, I fit a lot more in there if you stack it. Uh, if it's just thrown in loose, I don't know, you may get 60% as much, I'm just guessing. But these are great, I love them, they work fantastic. Once they're loaded up, I don't have to touch them again until I deliver them or load them in somebody's truck, but I don't ever have to touch the wood again. I just pick them up with the forks, carry them over to the neighbors, load them on somebody's trailer or their pickup. These work fantastic. So let's measure this up to make sure. That's actually a little over eight feet long. It's 103 inches. four feet high this is just a little over a face cord so i do not expect it all to fit in there but uh, we should get a pretty good idea all right i'm not going to take it easy on them at all i'm just going to toss this wood in there like it would be going in off of a conveyor we'll see where we end up May have to pick it up a bit. lifted up off the ground but I just brought this pallet over here I think what I'm gonna do lift it up just a bit more we'll slide that pallet off of it and then just set it down a little bit take just a little bit of weight off of it 
I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to zoom in across the valley. Someone's watching me. There she is. Can you see that over there? There's a big old doe over there. She's huge. It looks like a horse. But uh, she hangs out right over there on that other ridge there. And uh, she's always watching me work over here. Normally, she's totally fine with the equipment running and me working. If I stand around too long, though, she seems to get a little bit nervous. Uh, but for now, she's just over there checking things out. But that is a big doe. She's always by herself, too. Keep loading. We're getting close. I could put a few more in there. I'm gonna pick it up right now, set it down a couple times, see how those straps hold, and it may kind of settle that down in there a little bit. We can fit some more in there. Let's see. That's settled down in just a little bit. Let's throw a little bit more in there. All right, I'm just gonna call it. If you remember at the beginning, I measured this up. This was a little over a third of a cord. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 15 or 16 pieces of wood left right here. Yeah, I'm gonna say they definitely hold a third of a cord. And like I said, I just tossed it in there. All right, now I'm gonna hop in the tractor and pick this up off the pallet just a bit. I may even shake it around a little bit. What I wanna do is make sure that these straps support all this weight, because keep in mind now, this is premium red oak right here. This is quality Pennsylvania hardwoods right here. Uh, this is not like your typical, you know, burn quick, feather light West Coast wood. This is a real deal right here.
All right, so far my initial thoughts on the firewood bag, I really like them, I do. Now they are reusable, how long they're gonna last, I have no idea, but I was looking for something exactly like this. And like I mentioned earlier, when I use this conveyor here beside me, I can't use it right into the IBC totes, and just dumping into a bulk pile is not the best way to dry your firewood. Matter of fact, it's probably your worst way to dry firewood. So I was looking for something like this. Now I got a box of 12 of these, from uh, Shaver Equipment. I'll put their email in the description if you're interested in them. They cost, uh, I got a box of 12, about $17.50 each plus shipping. Uh, that's for like 12 of them. But if you get a pallet of them, it's like 200 or more. I think they're $16 a piece. So $17.50 a piece. I pay a little bit more than that for the IBC totes, but the IBC totes will last longer. I'm not sure. I will be using both though. I'm definitely going to keep using the IBC totes, but these will be right off the conveyor. They're going to work really well for what I need. And also I wanted to mention they claim that these really accelerate the drying process. I'm not sure of that, uh, but we will find out if you guys remind me this spring. This is uh, red oak right here. It was green. It was cut and split about two months ago. So what we'll do this spring, uh, we'll dive into this bag right here. I'll set this one off by itself split a piece of wood, put the moisture meter on it, and see where it is this spring. Because typically this red oak takes probably a year and a half to dry before you can get it down to 20%. So uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, so far, so good. I'm telling you, I think this is just one more tool uh, to do things a little bit easier, better, cleaner, faster, and it should work out really well. For years, I stacked firewood, and I actually kind of enjoyed doing it but it's just very, very time consuming. Uh, this off the end of the conveyor, we will crank out some firewood with this, no doubt about it. And then I'll set them on pallets down here and we'll start selling them next year. But yeah, it should work out really well. Like I said, I'll put the uh, email for shaver equipment in the description, $17.50 for each for 12 of them, 16 bucks for a pallet of them. So keep that in mind. And if any of you guys have been using these, please let me know in the comments how you like them. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. You will definitely see more of these firewood bags in the future. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.